Uh, my name's Phil Byrne. I'm a uh, station manager in Merseyside Fire and Rescue Service. I work uh, day to day within the fire protection, the fire safety department with our auditors and inspectors, but I also have a dual role where I will respond to operational emergencies and take command of uh, medium-sized incidents. Hi, my name's Chris Head, I'm the group manager in the protection department for Merseyside Fire and Rescue Service. I deal mainly with the organisation of our risk-based inspection programme of the 75,000 commercial premises that we have across Merseyside. My name's Phil Dean, I'm the director of WFST. I'm contracted by Merseyside Fire and Rescue Service to deliver the level four fire safety diploma. Uh, so I'm currently uh, taking my level four fire safety diploma uh, as part of my uh, development within, within my role to make me clearly better at my fire safety part of my job. Well today, uh, Certus, I got Certus in to deliver the training on the smoke control module and um, because I thought it was really important to get specialists who are in the field, Certus have come in and they've went right into detail and they've covered the subjects that are really important, especially in support of today's firefighter um, and the fire safety department. Today's been really, really pertinent in the work that I do. Um, we're currently engaged in reinspection of over 200 high-rise residential buildings in Merseyside, uh, specifically those that have got cladding systems that don't meet current external wall system standards. Um, not only are the cladding systems themselves um, coming under scrutiny, but we're also looking at the holistic approach to building safety and resident safety within high-rise buildings and the use of ventilation systems that we've been looking at today, smoke handling and smoke control systems are critical to the life safety of the people in those buildings and having an, an understanding of how those systems work or in some cases don't perform adequately enables us to get a true picture of the safety standards that are in these buildings and ultimately the way that we can protect the residents in them more effectively. Well, today we were learning all about uh, smoke shafts, smoke ventilation, automatic open and vents, uh, smoke clearance systems. The huge takeaway for me today uh, is clearly around the, the operation of those, now they can support us resolving operational emergencies, how our firefighters can use them safely and effectively to, to, to clear smoke, to, to, to maintain those means of escape, particularly when they're dealing with emergencies, should we need to evacuate uh, premises and allow persons to evacuate safely. I would recommend Certus to come in and train firefighters in the, in the operations of smoke control systems and the, the full understanding of them. Um, it's part of their level four fire safety diploma to just fire safety um, courses, but it shouldn't just stop there. It should drive down into the actual operational crews as well to learn these systems because they're seeing these day to day, especially when they're arriving at incidents. I think it's becoming essential now that the facilities that are in buildings for life safety, whether that's firefighting lifts, whether that's uh, protected stairways, or, or in this case, um, the smoke control systems that are in buildings, a good understanding of that is essential for every operational firefighter. I would certainly recommend that uh, operational firefighters and, and fire officers are they, uh, certainly a basic uh, uh, and to a, a medium level of understanding of how these systems operate, both before uh, fire appliances arrive and, uh, and certainly how they can use them in the operational phase of an incident to their benefit and use them effectively for the design which the, the, the design to do, which is clear smoke and keep people safe and allow people to, uh, to get out of buildings.